my dear children welcome to the physics class today we are going to discuss the magnetic field of earth in ancient time it was believed that the freely suspended magnet comes to rest in north south direction due to the attraction of north star but in 1600 william gilbert who was the physician of Queen Elizabeth I of England showed that the directive property of a magnet is due to earth's magnetic field for that he made a large spherical ball of magnetite which is an ore of iron the poles of which were situated on two opposite ends on placing a small magnetic compass on this magnetite sphere the compass took up a definite direction at different points on the sphere which was similar to that of the earth according to his view the magnetic field of earth can be represented as if caused by a huge imaginary bar magnet in the interior of the earth let's look the evidence of the earth's magnetic field The first point is a freely suspended magnet comes to rest in north south direction. As we all know, our earth has two geographic poles. They are geographic north pole and geographic south pole. When a bar magnet is suspended freely, which rotates and comes to rest in such a way that the north pole of the magnet comes to rest in north direction, and south pole of the magnet comes to rest in south geographic pole that is why these poles are called north seeking pole and south seeking pole based on this principle chinese developed a device called magnetic compass which has a magnetic needle which is free to rotate inside the glass box Hence the north pole of the needle always points towards the geographic north pole of the earth and south pole of the needle always point towards the south geographic pole the box can be rotated in order to coincide the markings of the direction over the needle and hence we can identify the other directions too initially the people were thought that It is because of the north star that attracts the north pole of all the magnets on earth. Later on, William Gilbert explained that earth itself has a magnetic field. This particular magnetic field of earth is aligned in such a way that if we replace the earth with a huge bar magnet which is aligned in such a way that the south pole of the bar magnet points towards geographic north and north pole of the bar magnet points towards the geographic south hence we can assume that the earth has a south polarity in geographic north direction while it has a north polarity in geographic south direction the second point is an iron rod buried inside the earth along north south direction becomes a magnet If an iron rod is buried few meters inside the earth keeping it along north south direction after some days it is found that the rod becomes a weak magnet it is possible only if earth itself behaves like a magnet and the third point is the neutral points obtained on plotting the field lines of a magnet since Earth has a magnetic field around the earth when you place a magnetic needle it comes to rest and points the direction of the magnetic field lines while this needle is placed near any magnet it deflects slightly and shows a different direction so if you plot magnetic field lines around a bar magnet you can see two neutral points where the needle will not show any direction or it rest in any direction 
here in the picture there is a magnet which is placed in such a way that the north pole rests towards north direction and south pole rests towards geographic south direction here we can observe needle directed from north to south outside the magnet hence the magnetic field of the bar magnet is stronger on this area but on moving away from the magnet the field line shows opposite direction that is from south to north which is the magnetic field of earth since earth has north polarity on geographic south direction and south polarity on geographic north direction here you can see two points marked as x at these points you can observe that the magnetic needle shows any direction it is because here the magnetic field due to the magnet cancels with magnetic field of earth since they are opposite these points are called neutral points the existence of neutral points is an evidence of earth's magnetic field now we can see the magnetic field lines of earth earth's magnetic field is uniform in a limited space so when you plot the field lines of earth it is noticed that this lines do not intersect each other and they are parallel and equidistant these field lines are directed from geographic south to geographic north that is the direction in which a magnetic needle suspended freely in a horizontal plane rest now let's see how does the non magnetic field of a strong magnet looks the magnetic field around a bar magnet is non uniform so if you plot the magnetic field lines which are not equi spaced and parallel but they are curved they are closely spaced at a place where the magnetic field is stronger and widely spaced at a place where the magnetic field is weak the figure shows the non uniform magnetic field lines due to a bar magnet which starts from north and ends to south outside the magnet and also which are crowded at north and south poles hence magnetic field is stronger at that points while in the middle the field lines are far separated hence the magnetic field is weak there this is the magnetic field lines due to a horseshoe magnet now if you place two unlike poles facing each other and plot magnetic field lines in between them you will get the field lines like this which starts from north and ends to south now if two like poles are placed facing each other and magnetic field lines are plotted you can observe the field lines like this here the field lines move away from each other my dear children today we have learned the evidence of earth's magnetic field the plotting of uniform magnetic field lines of earth and plotting of non uniform magnetic field lines of different magnets hope you all understood very clearly thank you and have a nice day